Hey guys, how we doing? Hope you're enjoying the summer as much as I am. My God, it's been hot. What a beautiful July it is. Um, so yeah, guys, video today is to show you an add-on called In Incursion. I think I'm saying that right. And it's a Covenant fork, but unlike Covenant, it's had lots of work done to it. Uh, it uses the new URL resolver software and apparently the back end has been uh, re redone completely. So I'll show you how to install that and here we go. So first thing you're going to want to do is click the uh, wheel just here and we'll go to file manager. Uh, we're going to go, well as you can see it's updating just in the top corner there, I'll let it do its thing. There we go. So as we're on the file manager section, we're going to scroll down to the bottom here and click add source. Oh, a bit quick there. And once you're in this bit, you're going to click the non area here for the path, the media location, and you're going to add this address. All right, I'll just give you a moment to type that in. Uh, probably this is the part where you want to pause the video. Uh, it gives you a few more seconds to input that address. Just checking some out. Yeah, okay. Right, so moving on, that's the, the, the address for it. We're going to OK that. And now we're going to uh, name the location. So, in this sense, I'm going to just call it Incursion Repo. Okay. I know I'm spelled, probably spelled that wrong, but just for the video's sake. Uh, so, we OK it. And then we now have it added. Where are we? Scroll up. There we are. So now we're going to back out of this section here, back out again. And on here, we're back to the main screen. We're going to click add-ons. We're going to click this box just here. And then we're going to go to install from a zip file. And I'll click, find the re repository that we've just added. Here it is. Give that a click. And straight away, we're going to go to the repository tab. And again, to this one here. Okay, there we go. Give that a moment. There we go, lovely. That's the information we needed to see. And moving on now, we're going to install from the repository. Most people back out from here and start again, but for ease and quickness, you can do it this way. So we click the install from repository and we're going to look for the incursion repos repository. Here it is. Give that a click. Straight to video add-ons. And here it is, here's incursion. Give it a click. Yes, we do want to install it. So we'll get that done. Bear with me. Oh, oh bear with me. Sorry, guys. Right, yeah, we're going to click install. There we go. Give it a moment. Wait for that message. It's the hour metadata module and the add on lovely so now that is installed so what we can do is back out all the way back to the main screen there we are and now we're going to go to video add-ons give that a click and as you can see all the various ones from my videos that we've installed just to show you them working but the one we're looking at today is this one so i'm actually quite curious about this because i've read a little bit about it apparently there has been a lot of work gone into it and if you've tried things like covenant excuse me uh, and some of the other uh, forks, Exodus forks and so on, uh, you'll understand how important it is to make sure that you find one of these that works well. So let's have a look. So first thing I'm going to do is give a little test with the new stuff. Let's give this a click. Okay, so we can see here um, lots of stuff that's on telly at the moment. Uh, we'll just click something random. Let's give it a challenge. Uh, oh, I think this was out the other day. Anyway, let's see what this looks like. Uh, as always, these forks, they come up with some nice little features. I do like this, where it's got 4K, 1080p, 720p. It seems pretty standard now for a lot of these add-ons um, to show you this. I mean, it, at the end of the day, it, it's very beneficial, depending on how good your device is. Uh, you may, obviously, if it's a top-end device, you may be able to watch the 4K, uh, and so on and so on. Uh, but again, the streams, I suppose, will depend on what device appears. Uh, what device you actually own. Right, so let's give it a click. Now that's, that was very quick, considering. 
Um, let's try and open load. We know what these uh, links do. Sometimes it comes up with the pairing option. Have they sorted the assets still here? Unfortunately. Right. So yeah, obviously best to avoid um, open load. Right. Let's move on to something like movies. Oh, sorry. Bear with me. This one here. New movies. Quick click. Um, something worth mentioning as well while I'm messing about just here that this uh, has capabilities for track and uh, real debris if you want to use them and sync up obviously you know how these work guys um, to get your best the best links and the good thing with track is at least what you show as you're watching you keep up to date with it um, and it will keep in sync for when a new show comes out I believe so other things to, to check out um, let's give this one a challenge. Uh, there should be some 1080, yeah, straight away. 1080p links coming up. Um, so just give it a moment, let it finish. But yeah, this is one of the new kids on the block apparently, and um, people are talking about it, saying it's quite good. So worth a try, guys. As I say, I'm doing these videos just to show you, give you a little bit, um, show you the install process, show you the add-on working, uh, and more to the point, you can you can see what it's like. Um, so that's the one thing I, I do try to do. Uh, if you do enjoy the videos, guys, do subscribe uh, to the channel. Turn on notifications. That way you will be able to see when a new video comes out that I post. Let's try the 1080p link. Oh. No. Try that one. Oh, there we go. It's looking for it. So 720 this one, apparently. Trial and error, trial and error. I suggest you have a good look and a fiddle about with it. Um, it's probably the best thing to do. What I'm going to have a look at now is I'm just going to back out of here. I want to have a look at the tools section. So, yeah, it's got a library feature, so you can add stuff to the library. That's good. Uh, if you've never seen the library feature, guys, I'm just going to show it you quick. So you've got all these settings now something I may as well show you uh, sometimes people talk about when they add stuff to the library if, whether it's a movie or a TV it doesn't come up uh, you can't find it well if you right click on this particular section here and click set content now it looks a little different this doesn't it so let's just click this one here and you're going to pick what it is so for this we pick movies so it's going to be movies right? And you can change this here. You've got movies, separate folders. If you want to use that, you can. You can have it constantly scanning uh, and exclude path from library updates. So you can just OK that. You want to refresh it. So if you've added anything, it will refresh and then it will add them all. Simple as that. Same again on TV folder. Click set content. And go to here. Click that. And go to TV shows. Now you can click again how you want to set this up. Selected folder contains a single TV show. So I just leave it as it is, as long as it's activated. As long as it's got the information provider as well. That is the TV uh, TV database. Yeah. Okay. And again, you can just refresh it for what you've added. Remember, you only have to do this, I think, once. Uh, if you can put a shortcut of this section here, on your Kodi on the main screen you can just update it every time you've added and it will be in the library straight away okay um, what else do we have here so the general settings yes through the fun with this I hate it when it takes ages looking for links so we've got this here 60 second timeout and we'll change that down to 15 seconds um, you know you've got all the options how you want it to look I mean, the good thing is it's, it's pretty much straightforward. It's like most of them. And again, if you have issues with some of these, uh, you can turn a couple of them off. Library options, uh, pretty much all turned on for the ones you'll want. Auto update TV shows and so forth. Uh, and then the download section, that's if you just want to download stuff. It gives you the option on your device. Okay, so we okay that now. Back out again. Uh, as I say, you can have a right good mess with this. So... I'm just going to try something quick. We're going to go with um, new episodes again. I'll just pick something completely random. 
See, I'm when I'm after, I'm always after. I want to see the 720p at least, um, and we don't always get that with some of them. So it's a case of always mess about with these add-ons. See if you get a little, little tweak. Yep, no stream for that to be expected. Um, but I, let's check um, a random TV show. Oh, bear with me. That's already out. An episode that's been out for maybe a few days or something. Uh, let's put most popular. All right. Uh, okay, so I'm going to try this Game of Thrones. I'm going to go to the last one and last episode. All right, let's see what comes up for this. Okay, so we've got 720p. That's good. So at least you're going to be able to watch uh, some of your favourite shows in good quality by the looks of it. So that's good. No 4K though. So let me know if you find any uh, add-ons that come up with 4K streams. And more at the point, if your device can handle them. Right, so yeah, let's just leave this for a moment. Right, so we're going to try one of these, and I'm going to uh, I'm going to call the and um, getting tongue tied again. Apologies. I'm going to get this done, and then um, we're going to end the video, guys, because I've shown you uh, a, a fair whack here, and we don't like watching long-winded videos, do we? I'm sure. Oh, oh, interesting. Nothing coming up there. Right, again, depends on your device, guys. That's what I'll say to that. Let's try this. No? Wow. Okay, no streams on there. So, so as I say, I like to go in depth. See if things aren't working. So there's nothing worse than installing that and you've heard so much about and then, oh, doesn't work, this doesn't work, that works. But I did hear good things about this, so. Anyway, guys, at least you get to watch my video and see it firsthand, um, what it's like. Uh, at least that's the best I can offer you. Okay, what's it doing now? More links coming up. Let's try again. Anything? Well, maybe if you're a Game of Thrones fan, you're not going to be able to watch some of the episodes now that's not working okay well i suppose this is um trial and error and work in progress i guess we're going to have to see what happens with this add-on see how it improves uh, but it is yeah it's a new fork that's out so give it a whirl guys uh, and see what you think oh there's something that i'd like to check channels let's just have a quick look in here is that working and I guess it's not, that's work in progress, that one I get, I bet. Yeah. All right then, guys. So, as I say, I hope the video has not been too much for you. Um, as I say, I'm just trying to show you how it works and how to install it. Uh, and I appreciate you watching my videos. So, thanks very much, guys. Uh, and on that note, I'm just going to play out um, with this. I'll look at this straight away. 3720s, but how are they going to work? Let's do it quick. Play. So yeah, guys, thanks again for watching. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna stop it here. Uh, have have yourselves a great week, and I'll keep doing more videos now. Uh, now I'm back. I've had a few weeks off again, <laughs> so forgive me. Um, hey guys, it's beautiful weather. Man. What can I say? Uh, no one wants to be indoors, and so also makes making videos a lot harder to do. That's for sure. All right, guys, thanks again for watching. I'll see you all soon. Have a great week. Tira.